Welcome back guys, so in this video I'll be showing you how to use Chiaki, a free and open source PlayStation Remote Play client for streaming PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 games to your Steam Deck. This application is available across different platforms like Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android and even Nintendo Switch. I've been using Chiaki on my Steam Deck for about a week now, streaming games on my PlayStation 4. Very impressed by its performance. Stable streams, no graphical artifacts, no perceivable input delay. Its performance was quite similar to Moonlight. Using Moonlight application, we can stream games from our PC to other devices. I have already uploaded its tutorial on my YouTube channel. I'll drop its link in the description. So in order for Remote Play to work using Chiaki, we need to have a PS4 or PS5, a Steam Deck and we also need to provide a PSN ID to Chiaki. You need to make sure both your Steam Deck and PS4 or PS5 are connected to the same internet network. For the most stable experience, it is recommended to connect both of these devices to your router via an Ethernet connection, basically a wired connection. Personally, I just use the wired connection for my PS4. My Steam Deck is connected to a 5GHz band wireless channel. I still get a stutter-free experience. On Steam Deck, just make sure you don't use a 2.4GHz band Wi-Fi channel for the purpose of streaming. On our PS4 or PS5, we just need to enable the remote play setting and generate the pin for the purpose of pairing our console to Chiaki. I'll show you this process now. Alright, my PS4 has started. Just need to go to settings. Through here. Scroll down until you find remote play. Connection settings. Open it. Make sure enable remote play setting is checked from here. Then select add device. A pin will be generated. This pin will be valid for 5 minutes upon its expiration. A new pin will be generated. You just need to enter the latest pin in Chiaki. That's it. We are done here. I'll go back to Steam Deck. This is SteamOS running in desktop mode. My Steam Deck is connected to a 5GHz band Wi-Fi channel. My PS4 is connected to the same network. So just open Discover Store and search for Chiaki. You need to download this flat pack, Chiaki for Deck. Click on Install here. Wait for the installation to complete. There you go, it's ready. Click on Launch. It already discovered my PS4, but the console is unregistered. So we just need to link our console to Chiaki. In order to access Chiaki setting, just click on the settings cog here. Don't need to change any of the default key settings, leave them as it is. Now I'll be using my DualSense controller to play the games. From here, I'll just enable this setting, PS5 features, experimental. Enable haptics and adaptive triggers for attached DualSense controllers and haptics for Steam Deck if no DualSense attached. You can leave the other settings as it is, scroll down. Resolution. We can pick from any of these settings ranging from 360 to Full HD Resolution. Full HD Resolution is available for PS5 and PS4 Pro only. So I'll just stick with 720p Resolution. Steam Deck's display has a resolution of 800p. FPS set to 60. Codec used H265 also known as HEVC. It's available for PS5 only. So I think for PS4 H.264 codec will be used. Hardware decode method set to none. This is entirely up to you. I was getting very good results without using any hardware decode method. If we use it, GPU will be used for the purpose of decoding the streams. These are the options available. I'll just stick with none. Now we need to register our console. Just click on register new here. Select your console from this list. My PS4 has firmware version 11. So I'll select third option. PS4 firmware greater or equal to 8. If you have PS5, just select PS5 here. Now we need to enter the pin that is being shown on our PS4 display. But before that, I'll be entering my PSN account ID, base64 version. There are multiple ways of obtaining this ID. Personally, I use this website to obtain it. Very easy method. This is the website psn.flipscreen.games. I'll drop its link in the description. You just need to enter your PSN ID here. Then click on submit. There's the encoded ID for Chiaki. Click on copy. Go back to Chiaki, paste the ID here. Now you just need to type the pin that has been generated by PS4. After entering the details, just click on register. Our console has been successfully registered. Click on OK. Here you will see the name of your console. Close it. You can immediately test the streaming process by accessing the console from here. Its status has been changed to registered. Double click. There you go. Controlling our PlayStation console via Chiaki. Now I'll be showing you how to add Chiaki to your Steam library so that you can run it via Steam OS gaming mode. We'll also show you how to add artwork for it. Close the application. Just open Steam, go to library, click on add a game. 
then click on add an on steam game look for chiaki vortex there it is check the box adjacent to it then click on add selected programs find the game in your library there it is selected click on the settings cog here click on properties change its name to just chiaki i'll be using boiler application to automatically download the artwork for it you need to configure boiler first before it can download the artwork Boiler is available on Discover Store for absolutely free. Just click on this link. I have already uploaded Boiler's guide, so if you are new to it, you can watch that video. I'll drop its link in the description. Searching for images. Done importing games. Now I'll switch to Steam Gaming Mode. We are ready to use Chiaki. There you go. Just search for Chiaki. C H. There it is. Chiaki for tech. Artwork has been applied. I'll be using a community based controller layout for Steam Deck. Tap on the controller icon here. Select Steam Deck. Layout. Go to Community Layouts. I'm using this one, Chiaki for Steam Deck. I've made a few tweaks to it. Just map L3 and R3 keys to L4 and R4 back grip buttons. Apply layout. Edit layout. This is optional, entirely up to you. L4. Wow, so I'll just select right stick. There you go. Start. This controller layout maps the PlayStation key to Steam Deck's left trackpad click. Performance tab. OLL set to 2. I'll enable the disable frame limit setting. I'll also enable alert earring setting. This will disable Steam OS vSync. Will help in reducing the latency. I have zoomed out a bit as I'll be showing you the live input response. So just select your console, double click, yeah it started. First I'll be running Uncharted 3. This game actually runs at 60 FPS on PS4 console. Alright, there's Nathan, check out the input response. Game is running very smoothly. No perceivable input delay, jump by pressing the A key. Move. This is 40% volume. Audio is not stuttering, action is going on. Someone shooting at me. Quickly clear the area. I'm only seeing my allies. Here's the bad guy, finally. No ammo. It's almost as if the game is running natively on Steam Deck. That's not possible. PC port of Uncharted 3 does not exist. And I can even use my DualSense controller. Wait a minute. Connected DualSense controller. I'll show you its controller layout. Open the controller settings. Select DualSense layout. Go to community layouts. I'm using this layout DualSense PS5 Chiaki uploaded by just in time 96. Now with this layout, gyro is enabled by default. I'll just map it to left trigger full pull. It's basically the activation key for gyro. Always on. Select left trigger full pull. Here you go. With this controller layout, PlayStation button is mapped to right trackpad click. Escape key. As you can see, our gamepad is working now. Gyro is working as I press the left trigger, holding it. That's really good to see. Now, in order to go back to PlayStation's menu screen, just press the right trackpad. There you go. I'll be running Bloodborne. 
Yeah, the game has started. And you can see here, FPS counter shows a count of 60. That's not true. On PS4, this game runs with a 30 FPS cap. Or the game looks gorgeous, amazing art style. Soul Spawn game. Just drop down. Using the app, power draw is around 7 watts, so you should be getting a playtime of around 5 hours on a full battery. This is amazing. Oh my god, <laughs> this guy attacked me. Look out the creature. So very impressed by the performance of Chiaki. I'll end the video here guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.